planting columbine, one little black speck at a time. So this is Devil's Club, and evidently these little green parts are edible if you get them before the thorns take over. Let me show the bowl. So we're out looking for them, and Corey knows how to cook them, so they're really yummy, right, Corey? <laughs> Yay! It's kind of a dangerous hobby. Yeah, they say you wear gloves, but. You're not wearing gloves? Surviving. Okay. It's about the sides, too. So if we cut it down, I think they'd come out the side. So yeah, I hadn't noticed them, but I can see now there's little green. Things are just miserable in the summer and fall. You can see, I swear they're lethal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can see how prickly they are. So I wonder who first decided that you could eat these. Huh. Do you just pull them up or do you twist them off or? Like bend them down, kind of. Got it. Ah! All while trying not to get stabbed. While trying not to get stabbed with the... Okay, this is a two-handed thing, so I'm going to turn this off and pick some. So the trick is to get them before they start getting uh, stickers on them. And Corey's told me now that I should have a glove on one hand so that I can hold this part without getting poked. So I'm bringing the garden gloves down. Look what I found out here! They're going to be good. Are you helping, Benny? Are you helping us find those devil clubs? Say hi. Are you a big help? Say, I'm an Alaskan baby. <laughs> I eat stickers. Yeah. <laughs> I eat sticker food. Pureed. Yeah. Pureed. Yeah, pureed. <laughs> to wrestle these things for your food. And Ariel decided that's why Alaskans are tough. I mean, I got poked. And it doesn't hurt when you pull it out, but boy, kind of my legs, my bohankas, and my thumbs on fire right now. So you know these are going to be good. Or nobody would waste the time trying to get them. Corey and I embrace the Alaskan spirit and risk life and limb to get a side dish for dinner. Those guys play bocce at the house. Maybe they shouldn't get any shortcake. Aww. And the mosquitoes are really big. So Corey pulled off the outer leaves of the shoots, and now he's just washing them real good, right? And we're having so much fun, we think we're going to start a devil's club meeting. <laughs> Okay, so you boil it for two minutes in salt water. And we need a, a hot what do you need, a bigger hot pad? Squeeze the water out after you drain it. And over here, are you getting sick with me turning that fast? Um, you heat up a cast iron pan, which has been heated, and put olive oil in it. What is this? Cumin? Fennel. Fennel. Half a teaspoon of fennel. Pretend you're on a cooking show and just narrate what you're doing. <laughs> you can do it. 
clicking on kicking. <laughs> Sprinkle it in. Sprinkle it over the olive oil. Corey made some of these and brought them up last night, and boy, were they good. They're almost like asparagus. So you just want to make sure you don't get the ones that already have stickers on them because that would hurt. So add some garlic, minced garlic. Woo! More is always better. And Corey's adding dill. I think dill. <laughs> it's hot. There's spatulas in one of these crocs if you want it. We're embracing our Alaska-ness. <laughs> Alaskan-ness. Corey and I more than the rest of you, because we wrestled it out of the... Out there. You were out there. Shouting encouragement. Be yeah. careful! <laughs> Let's see. I don't think I've gotten Gideon. Where's Gideon? Hey, Gideon. Hey, baby boy. Hey. Hello. Hello. He has a tooth now. So I'm going to. So you saute it till it's heated back up and it has garlic, salt, dill, olive oil, fennel, fennel seed. And then it's really yummy. Who's going to taste it? We already know what it tastes like. Here, let me get you a, you can get a fork in there. And you'll try it too. Part of my video. We better get... It's good, isn't it? Okay, we'll get you one too, Si. It's got that a little bit of pine taste to it, too. It does, doesn't it? It tastes a little bit like pine. It makes your tongue swell. No. <laughs> <laughs> got it. That's awesome. worth having my legs and bohunkus and hands on fire. <laughs> what about you, Corey? Is it worth your knee so. being on fire? <laughs> Do you have my Mother's Day card? Oh! Huh? What's that? I don't know. Did you, you make see? that? You want to look at it? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Are you going to give that to Grandma? Huh? Great work. Yeah, let's look at it, Bella. Can we look at it? Wibbly wobbly. Grandma's a card. The wibbly wobbly card. Can I see the card? No? Okay. That's okay. Benny. I did not get the brooder clean, guys. I'm sorry. It's a lovely smell. Happy Mother's Day, Bree. Hi, Jamin. This is a video. This is a video. It's like it stops smiling like a psycho. Okay. <laughs> anytime you want. Anytime you want. None of you are mothers, so unhappy Mother's Day. Oh, here she is. Happy Mother's Day. Found this cow panel down here, and we just needed the guys to help us get it up.
And we also have some tea posts that the previous people left behind. So we think we can make a little portable fence for the chickens, which will at least keep them contained, if not safe. Whoa, it even has a... But it will keep them contained. Oreos. Until we can get a chicken run built. Oh my goodness. If Gideon can do it, Benny can do it. <laughs> Except the Gideon's won. <laughs> I have the three grow lights and I needed to get some more things started before our trip. So I've got beans up here peas down here. I have no clue what I started here. Um, well, car zoo. That doesn't even make sense. Oh, cucumbers. <laughs> car zoo. <laughs> so we've got cucumbers down here. And the idea is if I could do six and I can do, in the daytime, three of them get light, and in the nighttime, the others get light. So over here, we started another 24 sunflowers, because our others got so big, and we couldn't get them in the ground in time. These are columbines. These are more cucumbers. And then we started four more watermelons. Now, this was full of zinnias over here, and we have... Uh, finally hit on something for transplanting the kind of medium-sized things. So we've got zinnias over there. And I don't know, let's see, eggplants. And these are our watermelons. This is the southern window, so I'm hoping they'll be okay. We've got cherry tomatoes and bush tomatoes. I mean, yeah, that we transplanted there. The oregano and thyme has come up. The rosemary is still not doing anything, but I planted it later, so a couple weeks later, so I'm hoping we should see some sprouts soon. And continuing the Jumanji theme, the squash is now going up the walls, and we've got Ten beet plants in there. And I don't know. We'll just Mike and Mike will keep them all alive while we're gone.